Hey guys, it's Taylor, also known as Short Sleeve Tea, and I am here today to do a little bit of a different kind of video for you all. Um, I am going to be unboxing slash reviewing um, my July Ipsy bag. Um, I have been receiving Ipsy bags for about a year and um, just have not um, taken the time to review one for you guys, so I wanted to go ahead and do that now. Um, if you don't know what Ipsy is, it is a $10 a month subscription um, that comes in the mail. Uh, you get about five beauty products. Some can be full size, some can be trial sized. And um, there are a variety of uh, different kinds of makeups, nail polishes, perfumes, um, etc. And uh, you kind of can customize what you get when you go online to the Ipsy website. You take a quiz and uh, you kind of just fill out your profile based on the kind of things that you like. Um, each month has a different theme and a different bag that you actually get and I will actually show you kind of the theme in the bag um, and all the contents within that bag so let's get started I'm going to just cut this so you guys don't see me look like some sort of savage animal while I'm opening it um, every month it comes in this really pretty metallic uh, pink little shipping bag um, it comes around the same time every single month so First thing I see in here is not in the bag. Um, it is a Naked Cosmetics, uh, let's see, it's in Sierra Nevada. Um, it's eyeshadow and it is a metallic, almost like a burnt orange color. Let's see if you guys can see this. Uh, a little bit of a glare, but yes, there's a little bit of um, an orange kind of like sparkle to the color and um, I actually picked this as a reward I had been saving up my points you get different points for reviewing the bag every single month so um, I saved up and I believe this was 750 points um, and there's Christian behind me and Atlas and Tekken oh so this is a family affair hey <laughs> We are, I am unboxing my Ipsy bag. Okay, so here is the actual bag. I don't see, it normally comes with like a little um, pamphlet inside, or I don't know if you would call it a pamphlet, like a little card that tells you exactly um, what this month's theme is, but it might be inside the bag, I'm not sure. Um, <laughs> this one is really funny, it's got like, I guess like a um, over easy egg probably because it is so hot on the back <laughs> it's got the over easy egg with the butt um, and it's got a really cute zipper pouch it feels really high quality um, it is nice and um, almost like a fake leather feeling and the card was actually in the bag um, this month's theme it says July 2017 over easy so on the back it says hey there sleepyhead don't move a muscle lazy sunday vibes are here we're talking laid back everything easy think tussled top knots insanely soft tees flush lips and cheeks and you know not wearing any pants our motto homebody is the new beach body and our mascot none other than gudatama aka the sleepy super chill cartoon egg who's spreading the lazy bay vibes around your glam bag all month long um, it has a little bit more on there about how you can follow them on um, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all of that, social media. So I'm guessing this little over easy egg is actually a cartoon. Uh, that's pretty cool. I did not, I've never heard of this before, but now I have. So, okay, let's get right into the bag. Like I said, here is the little bag. It's got a zipper pouch. The inside is lined with a different material. Um, it looks like the first thing I have, ooh. Okay, so my favorite, one of my favorite cosmetic brands is Tarte. And this looks like a full-sized bronzer. Is it? Park Avenue Princess Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer. Okay, yes, it's a full-sized bronzer. I'm going to actually swatch it on my hand. Um, and we'll see if you guys can see what it looks like. That is the bronzer. It goes really well with my skin tone, um, but I can actually imagine that it would go really well with other skin tones um, as well. Let's see. Ooh! Oh Lord! Oh, what a mistake. <laughs> what a horrible mistake. Okay. 
anyways we'll see what it looks like on christian christian's skin is obviously darker than mine by um a few shades and um we'll just see kind of how it looks on his skin as well let me see your hand so for him, it comes out a little bit lighter. Um, it does have a little bit more of a yellow undertone on him, almost like a gold shimmer. You're good, thank you. Almost like a gold shimmer. Um, and for me, it's more of like a bronzy orange shimmer. Um, so I do think any skin tone could um, pull this off and it would look just really nice. Um, I, don't, I don't know, now that I've put it on my face, I'll try to put it on this side too. Oh my gosh, I'm making horrible choices. Oh well, um, <laughs> this, okay, so I tried to bring you guys like a different kind of video and I'm already just completely failing at it. Oh well, um, yeah, I don't, now that I've put it on my face, I don't know if I would just kind of like mix this with a lighter color because it's pretty dark on me as you can see or maybe it's just me covering it on my finger. Okay. So much for being a beauty blogger, right? Anyways, next thing that we have is Trifle Cosmetic Cosmetics Raspberry Ripple Ombre Radiance Blush Palette. Okay, so we've it comes in this really cute little package um, of like a storefront, um, maybe like a bakery, and it's got these two little cupcakes on the front. Let's see if I can get this open. Of course, I can't. It says no mineral oils, no fragrance no parabens blah 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 um looks like it is organic oh and it's cruelty free so that gets an a plus in my book and let's see what the palette actually looks like so this is a trial size product this is not a full size product but, but this is the palette um so you've got like a really pretty bubblegum pink color a kind of um peachy apricot color and then a more dark almost orange kind of sunset orange um color and each of these colors um this light pink is not very pigmented i don't know if you can see it it's not very pigmented but i like it it would be good for a blush um the i'm gonna use my wrist this time so we've got the light pink we've got the almost apricot color and then we've got the darker orange and the darker orange i cannot see myself using these are the three colors right here so i'm actually going to show you kind of like with that's how it comes out on my skin tone and i am very very fair um i am a neutral undertone i'm i don't work better with golds or silvers um and i do look best in jewel tones so i do lean a little bit more cool of a cool undertone but my skin as you can see has a lot of red in it so that's my second product um not full sized and like i said those are the colors so my last three things that i have in here i have a lip gloss by winky lux um it says double matte whip i'm gonna actually put this on and we can see kind of how it comes out the color it doesn't have the color unless it's called angel food but on here it says angel food let's see how it looks mm. eh, I don't have any other colors like this so I like it um, it feels really good on my lips it's not drying like some matte lipstick glosses are Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? It kind of goes with my skin. I kind of like it. Now that I'm looking at it more, I really like it. So yeah, I actually do like this. Okay, so um, like I said, this is Winky Lux. I'm going to have to get like better set up if I'm going to do these videos in Angel Food. And um, our next thing we have, this is our second to last thing. This is by, I don't know how to pronounce this, C-I-A-T-E, Ciate, Ciate. I don't know London Wonderland gel cool liner it's in black um, I can open this one up for you guys and show you how it looks oh wait a minute wait a minute I don't know if this is an eyeliner or if this is an eyebrow pencil because it came with this little like brush at the end let's see unless it's just like a really no it's it's an eyeliner I wonder why you would use this brush oh well here's the pencil and it comes out 
really smoothly. I know that's like the worst. I could have like done something better, but like there. How stupid. Anyways, this one came out really well. It's kind of like um, very smooth. Not, it doesn't look like it's gonna be too matte or too shimmery. It doesn't really have any like glitter in it or anything. Um, I do like this one. I can see myself using this. I don't really know what the brush is for though. I'll have to look into that. And last but not least, we have uh, a toner. Okay, so like a face toner. Um, maybe like after you, so after you wash your face, you can use toners. I don't really use toners that much, but that doesn't mean I don't like them. I do like them. I just haven't really purchased one. I use kind of like uh, serums and things like that. So, um, this one is by O Thermally Avene. I am, I picked the wrong Ipsy bag to make myself look like a dummy. So, um, I don't really know how to pronounce that. But this is a container. Um, it is not even one fluid ounce, which is okay. So I'm assuming that this is a trial size. It says it's for oily, blemish prone skin. Um, I don't have um, oily skin. I do sometimes get a couple of blemishes around like my nose, um, especially uh, during the week of my period. The scent on this, very clean, very floral. Um, Let's see how it feels on my skin. Oh wow, it's kind of got almost a moisturizing feel to it. It's really creamy, um, it's very thin, but it's very moisturizing and I like that. And it's actually taking off this blush, so um, maybe I could use it as like a makeup remover as well. All right guys, so that is going to be it for my Ipsy bag review. If you liked this video, let me know in the comments, like it, you know, subscribe if you are new to my channel. Um, this is my first time doing any kind of beauty video and it was all over the place, but this is me and this is what I do. Um, if you are new here, I do weight loss videos. Um, I had gastric sleeve surgery about a year ago, um, but I am incorporating incorporating different things into my channel. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!